How's your cheekbone all in? Well, it's not so bad. How's your cheekbone all in? Well, I was down at the Whiskey and Go-Go. Yeah. And I fell flat on my face. Ooh. How's your cheekbone all in? Well, it's not so bad. How's your cheekbone all in? Well, it hurts a little bit. How's your cheekbone all in? How did the, the change from you know being time box uh, to Pato? Wh why did you change? Uh, gradually. Gradually. And when uh, did there was there a change of style in your music w with the change of the, the? No, there was a drastic change in money, but the style was the same. We, we used to have an organist, and he's gone. He's yeah, got, he gone. went real gone. Real, real gone. gone. On another plane. He had to go his own way. You see, he was into other things, man. Yeah. 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 And from then on, uh, we changed the name of the band. Yeah. We've done a few gigs called Tarzan. We've done a few gigs being called Oh Dick and the Little, Little Nesbit and the Boot Hog Papley Five. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 But we had to scrap all. that, we couldn't get it all on the bass drum, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you uh, the one of the reasons you changed uh, was that you wanted to keep out of the singles market and you wanted to devote your time to Well actually when we changed, a lot of things also changed, you know, like we, we used to be with a record company, uh, Decker. And uh, we did an album with them, what we attempted to do. We wrote a load of songs, because we've written songs for a long, long time, you know, sort of original things. And we did this album, and uh, it turned out so bad because of the production. You, you're accomplished musicians in your own right, and yet you've got this loony side to, to your performance. Uh, you're less allowed. We feel less, we, we feel that less, there's really, you're really allowed to do that. I mean, if you play a bunch of crap, and... Uh, Paul and Moody. And Paul and Moody or two. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit, it could be a bit weird, but it's, we pride ourselves on how we play. So we're not just doing it as an escapist thing, you know. We're not just a loony band. I suppose being together five years, you know, we've driven each other slightly mental to start. Yeah, we, we've grown into each other, you know. Yeah. Sort of like, uh, Some guy in New Zealand said that um, after we did a concert there, that the lunacy side of the band was an obvious cover-up for our complete lack of talent. Yeah, said, that on the radio. said that on the radio. Man. Yeah. yeah. Really good. Really, really knocked us out. You know, we felt yeah. really good about it's that. Just what you need. Yeah. Yeah. It's just what you need. Yeah, things like that. Yeah, yeah just a little bit of encouragement. You all dig jazz yourselves and classical mm. music too. Oh yeah. yeah. We saw a lot of jazz yeah. in the States. Anything that goes. Yeah, just dig jazz, I guess. Yeah. 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 Very Catholic taste. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. play cricket. Yeah. 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 We're, we're, we're cricket fans, man. We got all. Right we're over here. Anybody wants to take us on? Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Anybody wants a cricket match, you know, any band, every, any four or five piece, we can, with cops we can beat them. us, we'll challenge them. And, right? and beat them. We'll beat we'll them. We'll beat thrash them. Thrash them. Off them. Off them. Off them. Yes. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Oh, oh, yes, there's indeed. a challenge yes, for the patets. Sort of serve your apprenticeship on the club circuit. Or yeah, and raising campfires. Anything. A lot. <laughs> Star of stage, screen and campfire. campfire. Yes. <laughs> the dance of the seven army surplus blankets. Those used to be our speciality. You, your new album has just been released here to coincide with the tour. Uh, how similar is the material on that to, to what you do on stage? It's pretty, pretty similar. Pretty similar. Yeah. It's a good cross-section of what we do. Yeah, oh. no, we don't play all the album on stage, because there's other things, you know. It's like our third album. And like Ollie was saying, we've been writing a long time before we were Pato anyway. So there's a lot to draw from for us to do. On the tour, we've had a limited amount of time to play. So uh, it's been set down to how many tunes we can get in. <laughs> they're okay to do. For the longer show, we'd stretch it more, but try and cram it in, you know, with the time that we've got. But uh, we, we do three, four tracks of the album some nights on stage, you know. We've got to promote our other two albums over here as well, since they're just out over here. <laughs> <laughs> There's a cricket match, Lance, is it? Or are they just practicing walking? Yeah, just cricket walking. Oh. Oh, uh, people had streaks, huh? <laughs> Bit of melody, chaps. Melody. <laughs> okay, cut it. Beautiful, beautiful. I think that should just about do us, really. I mean. Melody. Let's give them the whole bit, chaps. Do the.